Hi folks, my name is Omkar Jagdai and I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan and today I'm going to talk to you about what to do if a cop pulls you over. Now understand one thing, if you're driving in India, if you're doing anything, you will never be pulled over by a cop from the behind. That's different in US. 95% of the chance, as a matter of fact, 100% of the time, you will be pulled over by a cop driving behind you. So things are different here. Now, if you don't have a driving license and you don't drive in US, then maybe you can skip this video. But if you want to learn how to handle a difficult situation, then I suggest you watch. And nobody's going to teach you this. And most international students don't know how to handle a difficult situation. Now, before we get started, I want you to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so that the cop doesn't catch you. So I'll pray over you that cop doesn't catch you if you push that like button. Imagine you're driving on the highway and a cop pulls you over. Now, let's say a cop starts his siren and he start, he tells you from, he'll honk you, he'll, he'll flash his lights at you and he'll tell you to pull over. Whenever this happens, here's what you need to do. Whichever you are lane in, you want to make sure you come to the rightmost lane, wherever the shoulder is. Do not stop in the fast lane. Give an indicator as soon as this happens. Number one thing, do not panic. It's fine. You may, you don't know why they are pulling you over. If you have been speeding, then that's fine. You know it. But there can be a lot of reasons why you can be pulled over. Maybe your uh, backlight is not working. Maybe your front light is not working. You know, something may be, something may be wrong. So maybe your high beam is on. You don't know what reason is. Usually, most people don't know why they are getting pulled over. Maybe your driving license is expired. Maybe your car registration is expired. You don't know. Here's what you do. If you see the siren, if you see the lights flashing, you pull over the car. You don't do a like right there. You make sure one, two, three, three lanes, whatever lanes you are, make sure you pull to the right. If there is a shoulder, you can pull in the shoulder and stop. Shoulder is basically three lanes and there is an extra lane where you can pull over. This is only on a highway, okay? Only on a highway, you can pull over on a shoulder. Do not pull your car on the fast lane in the middle, near the divider, where there is another section of the highway on the left. Don't do that. Do not do that. That is the fast lane. That is risky for you and the cop. Both of you will be in trouble if you do that. So make sure you always pull to the right and stop in the shoulder. Now, let's say if you're driving in a neighborhood, if you're driving in a city, the best thing you can do is put your indicator Okay, you may want to make sure put your indicator so that cop knows that you have seen him and what you can do if you want to make sure that they know that you have seen them, put the flashing indicators where both of your lights start flashing so that they know you are about to turn. You know, they know that you are going to turn and make that. So you want to make sure you stop within a mile if you are in a city. If you are on a highway, you can take your time, but go slow, give your indicator. So here's what I would do. In the city, I would take the turn. I would see if there is an entrance. If there, if there is an entrance into a apartment complex or there is a Starbucks or there's a coffee shop, you can pull inside. So you wanna make sure you pull inside a little bit and go ahead and stop, okay? Now here's what you do. Once you go ahead and stop, do not stop on the road. This is the most stupid thing you can do. Don't do that. They will understand. So you stop, you get into, you take that exit, or you can take that road into that coffee shop, for example, and stop there. Now you do not get outside your car. Do not do that. Once you are, so once let's say you stop, number one thing, this is what you need to do. First, you have to build a mindset that I'm humble, I did something wrong. That's, understand, don't be arrogant to a cop, okay? A lot of people have this arrogance and that's why they get in trouble. Don't be arrogant. He is someone with authority. So you have to understand, you have to give, you, he has power right now. So you have to have, you have to respect authority. Okay. So the way I would do, first of all, what I'll do, once I stop my car, I will make sure my car is shut off. I'll shut off my car. Then I'll make sure I get my driving license or something, whatever, the ra registration and license. I'll make sure I'll pull it right next to me. So I always keep this ready in my car. It's in an envelope and it's either in my, um, I can either pull it from my front uh, pocket, you know, the compartment there or on the right, you know, right next to my seat. I'll pull it out of that and I'll hold it in my hand. I'll hold it in my hand. I'll switch on the lights if it's nighttime. 
I'll switch on the lights and I'll make sure he can see my hands. So I'm going to put both of my hands on my steering wheel with the lights on. So when he comes knock on the door, he can see my hands. Okay. Make sure your hands are seen because he's, you don't know. There are a lot of things that happen. People have guns. People have stuff in their car. That's why cops are afraid. That's why they carry gun. So you want to make sure this. Understand one thing. In all of this, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to tell you what is the right way to do it so you don't get in trouble. So your hands are here, you have the driving license and the whatever that is in here or you can keep it on the side and as soon as he knocks on the door, you make sure one hand is here, you take the window down and you, the first thing you're gonna say, I'm sorry officer, did I do something wrong? This is what I always say, I'm sorry officer, I caused you trouble, did I do something wrong? Then he's gonna go explain whatever this thing. Last time I was pulled over a few years back, he told me that, hey, um, have you been drinking tonight? Because it was like 11, 11.30, he pulled me over and uh, then he told me one of your lights is not working, that's why I pulled you over. They'll give you a reason why they pulled you over. They have to give you a reason, okay? They'll tell you why they pulled you over. Because that's the question you ask, did I do something wrong? Then they will tell you, give me a driving license and stuff like that and you will give it to them. They'll go into their car now, so you, you can pull your, car, your window up They'll go into their car and they will check what they'll check your records if there are like tickets if it, if it's a legal driving license whatever they'll do their due diligence they'll see if you have insurance if your insurance is valid so make sure you have a valid insurance a valid driving license and uh, whatever else you need okay so you you want to make sure you have these documents on you he's gonna come back with a ticket or without a ticket depending upon what you did if you're over speeding if you're speeding he's gonna come back to you and tell you that hey this is the ticket for you okay and all you do after that you can't do much more to be honest you can only apologize you can be like hey i'm sorry whatever he's gonna give you a ticket he's gonna be like hey you need to pay this if you want to contest this ticket you you have to be in the court okay so he'll tell you you can so basically after you get that ticket what you can do is if you feel like you did not do anything wrong and he just gave you that ticket you can actually get a court meeting which is on that document and you can attend that meeting there and you can contest that with the judge you can so basically that cop has to show up there so if you are financially in trouble and you know you did not do a mistake um, it's okay it, I would suggest go ahead and attend that um, attend that court date because sometimes what happens most of the time the cops just doesn't show up and the case is just thrown out of the room okay so basically you don't get the ticket that's what happens because cops are usually busy but that doesn't happen all the time but it happens a lot okay so that is a chance you can take if you get there and you plead guilty you might have to pay a little bit less maybe instead of paying 130 150 dollars you might end up paying 100 dollars now if you don't want any trouble you know you did the mistake and you have a headache just pay the ticket pay it, pay it online 130 dollars whatever that is all the details on that, that on that page whatever you get on that ticket it's just paid off it's fine now in all of this i want you to understand is your driving history in america really matters because it controls your insurance rate it controls a lot of other things you know if you don't have proper if you have a lot of points on your driving license you might get in trouble eventually you know your driving license can be sustained suspended for six months if you get more than five or six points in a year so make sure you manage your driving history properly okay and uh, i think that's pretty much what i had for you you know if you have any questions if you ever got in trouble or something like that and you want to talk about it or you want to share that experience put it in the comment section but i want to let you know that you want to drive safe make sure you take care of yourself i'll see you in the next video peace out bye